here we are, pretty in pink, right? Well, the room is pretty in pink. This is something you should not try at home. I will be reacting to some of the best, should I say the word best? Some of the worst physical altercations on Dance Moms. I thought this was appropriate because femininity, ladies, moms, mothers, you know, set a great example for their children and, you know, pay their bills on time. Is that what we're going to see? I don't think so. Let's take a look. This had to be the biggest thing that went down with the minis. Yolanda and Stacy go at it. And Lily kind of stirred this pot because she ran over to her mother and said, Yolanda just said blah, blah, blah about me, whatever. And that's it. Stacy lost her mind. She got up off those bleachers. She ran out. She went around the corner. She found Yolanda and she started screaming at her and Yolanda went for the jugular. This fight lasted two years, maybe three years. It was really ugly and it happened so fast. Now, let me just preface this with Stacy is a licensed psychologist. She's a doctor of psychiatry. Yes. A little scary that she could pop off that quick, isn't it? You, you were all mouth before. You're too busy digesting that crow you had to swallow. Oh, oh, I didn't swallow any crow. My child just went out yeah, there and it doesn't, it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, you still lost. I get physically ill just watching that. That was an awful day. When women yell at each other, when women fight and it gets catty, it's almost to be expected. But when a man yells at a woman like that, it's offensive. That's why Kathy's all-male team didn't work. Nobody wanted to watch a television show where men were screaming at a woman. But Kathy couldn't let it go. She didn't let it go because the producers were probably telling her, go in the room and fight, go in the room and fight, because they didn't have enough. That's how it worked. We knew, we knew how to play the game. But Kathy just came and went. She was on for an episode and then MIA for six weeks. She had to make an impact when she showed up. When she came into the room and started with me, I swear to God that I had the lid on the bottle of water. I meant to go like this and just like joke, boom. And I hit her with the water and that was wrong and that was offensive. And you hear me apologize immediately before she swings that old lady freaking pocketbook, which was hard as a rock. And I don't know what she had in it, but it was like stiff on the edges, metal and she whacked me in the back with it. Why are you yelling at us? I'm not, do anything. I'm, I'm yelling talking at, to my friend. And you're yelling at Shush. her. You had too much to drink. Oh, you better whatever. settle with that. <laughs> Bitch. Stop, stop, stop. Thank God I was not there. I saw it on television. I've seen it over and over. We were in New Orleans, right? You can drink, you can walk around with drinks. I'm not a big drinker. The moms, of course, were drinking. Of course, can't you shop, can't you eat? No, you have to drink. And you can see right there that that Leslie is a fight cat. She wouldn't even stop when a producer stepped in. She was fighting with him, a physically aggressive. Back in Pittsburgh, something went down there. After that went down, she was a nervous wreck. What happened to her? Nothing really. What happened to Christy? Nothing really. What happened to me? The routine is all screwed up. So we have Peyton, who's 10 feet taller than everybody else, can't dance, out of the number. We have Chloe, because her mother was in a physical altercation, has to leave, she's not in the dance. Then Asia, who's killing it, who is going to make mincemeat out of Mackenzie in this competition, she, leaves in the middle of the night, vanishes into thin air. Poof, be gone. Three kids out of seven are out of the routine. And we're at nationals. This is a big deal. I just wanted to go and eat a beignet and a po' boy, have a good time, see some friends. I have lots of friends in New Orleans. Big dance community. But no, 
hours and hours and hours on end. Picking a new kid, putting somebody else in the group, respacing everybody. I mean, this was ridiculous. Wake up, wake up people. Whatever you do affects your children. So who's ever out there watching, when you make a decision to do something, it is going to affect your child, whether it be good, bad, or otherwise. Get her out. Their behavior is deplorable. They are an embarrassment to the Abby Lee Dance Company, an embarrassment to me. Whoa, that's another one I couldn't believe. We have Christy, also known as Christy, who is very, very, very religious. She's doing her job. She's stirring the pot. She's fighting. She never intended, well, I know, she never intended for that to get physical, but it did. Then the other woman, she's from Miami, fabulous family, wonderful woman, but she's like built and strong and works out all the time and does all these extreme sports. So that's who went after. I mean, if you're going to pick a fight, I wouldn't pick it with her. Wake up. Get the away from me. Talent? Get the I don't know. I don't understand why that went to where it went. Why did Christy need to shove that woman physically and push her? Listen, I said Brooke is your mother's Get finger. Your finger, finger do you out want to be my up? face? Girls out the room. Yeah, Girls you out the room. Oh my oh my God. God. Wow, I haven't seen that in years. What's even worse is that was my student. She quit because of this whole thing with her mom and dad. A couple years later, her dad shows up with his girlfriend's kids, pays tuition for them. Years and years and years go by. She comes back, brings her two children. Brooke starts as a baby and then Paige follows. Then her sister, who couldn't get a job, opens a dance studio, like, you know, with socks and shorts and t-shirts. You can wear whatever you want. It wasn't like real dance school, but she made a lot of money. It was successful. Kelly didn't even take her kids to her own sister's dance studio. She was still bringing them to me. All before a TV show. Well, that's kind of a downer to end this YouTube video. If you liked hearing what really happened, my point of view, then please subscribe to this channel, like this video, and turn on your post notifications so you see what's coming next. It's not gonna be any more fights, although, there were certainly more that we haven't covered yet. All right, that's it. Take care. Thank you for watching. Bye. Boom, 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 boom.